Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. And uh, thanks for coming back and uh, all the new subscribers, welcome. Uh, today is our uh, kind of a sad day and a happy day. So it's been a good week, but a sad day. And the good week is, is all week Sherry's had the week off and has been able to enjoy the homestead and do our thing and and uh, she's been going at it something fierce but today is her last day of her week off which is kind of a bummer but uh, it is what it is so uh, today instead of doing my rounds with you and stuff like that uh, uh, right now I'm just uh, uh, running nutrients into the corn through this tank right here uh, this tank has got nutrients in it and it's pumping nutrients into the corn and I'll be running, that's almost 40 gallons, 38 gallons there. I'll be doing that twice, so close to 70 gallons, a little bit more than 70 gallons uh, into the corn just to give them a little bit of vitamin C. And when I do that, I take a lot of those nutrients and I'll go around with a little spigot and uh, uh, do the potatoes and some miscellaneous plants just to give them a little nutrients too. So uh, it's a beautiful day in Central Oregon today, nice blue skies and uh, relatively cool. I think uh, we're uh, topping out around the 80s, something like that. But uh, there's definitely falls in the air. Uh, I think like things like our green beans and our cucumbers are slowing down. And uh, in some cases that's kind of nice because We've really been going at it heavy this summer. and uh, But there is one thing I've got to show you, and that's my Swiss chard. So this is the front side of my NFT, and it just pretty much has a little bit of perpetual spinach going right here, and but mostly Swiss chard. And i got to show you the size of some of these leaves. Let me come down here. Look at the size of these leaves compared to my hand. Is that amazing? Look at that. So I got two different kinds of Swiss chards in here. Uh, reds and yellows. And uh, uh, I also was trying to get, I don't know if I got any, peppermint. <laughs> it was supposed to be white, white and red. And, uh, but look at the size of these leaves. Oh goodness, they're gigantic. So apparently we need to get these harvested. I can't believe the size of those leaves. So uh, if you like Swiss chard, <laughs> NFT definitely does a great job. Well, been kind of a blah day today, but a nice day. Sherry's getting her nice flowers all cleaned up. You think they'll bloom anymore? Oh, I don't know. Hey. So today uh, we gotta do our generator. Yeah. We got a new generator. I just got it out over by the garage. We'll be adding some oil to it, just firing it up, add a little fuel, fire it up, <laughs> and see how she does. And uh, real quick look into the greenhouse. Uh, you can see we got everything leaned, uh, dropped and leaned. And uh, I didn't seem to shock the uh, plants too much. The water is running right now. You can actually hear it and see it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, everything looks normal. I got a feeling we'll be having to pull these plants out pretty soon. And uh, hopefully we get a couple more cucumbers, but I think we'll be wrapping up the season pretty soon. And it'll be really interesting to see how long the tomatoes last, if I can keep it warm enough in here. We'll see. So uh, that's the latest update, and uh, we're just kind of taking her easy today. Kind of a sad day because <laughs> this is your last last uh, day off from the week. I think that's why I'm a little bummed out. <laughs> yeah, I was talking about that earlier on the on here. So it's a uh, been a good week, but a sad day, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it is what it is. Got to make a living. Got to keep the insurance. But someday, that'll change.
You go, girl. <laughs> well, it's finally time to uh, open up this generator, and uh, we got this at Costco, a little 2,000, uh, 2,000 amp, two, oh, 2,000 watt <laughs> uh, generator. Just opened her up. I see it comes with uh, actually uh, oil and uh, basic tools, adapters. So uh, yeah, pretty slick. So let's get this open and see what we got. All right guys, so I uh, got oil in this thing. The only thing I didn't like about it is you have to take the whole panel off to get to the oil, which is okay, I guess, no big deal. Uh, I'm gonna carry this over to the other side of the shop. I'm gonna put fuel on it and we're gonna fire it up to see how she runs. All right, we're ready to put some fuel in this thing. So I uh, wanted to sh show you one more time this automatic pump we have. It's uh, battery operated, goes right into the tank and you turn on the switch right here and then just squeeze the trigger and fill your tanks up. It's sure a lot nicer than having to try to hold up a five gallon tank of gas that gets kind of heavy. So let's get some fuel in this and let's do it. Is the quietest generator. So uh, once I figured out how to turn on the choke, fired right up. This thing is really quiet. It's amazing. So uh, happy with that. So uh, the unit was easy to get oil in, put a little fuel in it, a couple of pulls, she fired right up. So there you go. All right, guys, uh, getting to the end of our day here. Sherry's gonna clean her uh, aquarium out. That's kind of a long process, uh, but uh, she takes really good care of her fish. And uh, I don't know if you're able to see our fish. But uh, yeah, we got a couple of angels and some other goodies and uh, they've grown actually quite big, but we got four angels total, actually two pairs. And uh, they keep trying to lay eggs and hatch little ones, but since we don't keep them separated, they don't survive. But someday we might separate them, let them have babies. We'll see. But uh, yeah. <laughs> How often do you uh, do your um, tank? Probably once a month. Yeah, about monthly. She uh, pulls that out. It's not an easy task. If you're going to have a aquarium, uh, it's work. But uh, Sherry keeps up with her fish pretty darn good. And last but not least, Sherry's uh, freeze drying a few things in here. Uh, not sure what all, oh, we're doing some tomatoes. to make some tomato powder. And she's got some uh, peppers uh, freeze drying. So those will be done probably later today. And before this, we did a gallon's worth of milk and powdered those. And so uh, definitely uh, helps with the preps. So yeah, it's been a pretty productive weekend, even though we're kind of running at a slow speed today. But uh, yeah, we're gonna wrap it up right here, guys. I wanna thank you for watching. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over. Sharing is caring. It really helps our channel. We really appreciate it. Uh, love to get, we love all the new subscribers coming in every day. And uh, if you uh, like to say hello or have comments or have things you'd like us to take a closer look at on the homestead, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So guys, have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. 
available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.